Okay, so it is the battle of two of the best Android smartphones in the market today. On one hand, we have the freshly launched Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, while on the other side is last year's performance champion, the OnePlus 8 Pro. There's a lot to cover here, so without further ado, I'm Rohan from Techie Tech Tech and here we go. There are completely different hardware choices behind the design language of the S21 Ultra and the OnePlus 8 Pro. Just look at the cameras. The Galaxy S21 Ultra has a unique never seen before camera design where the entire module is integrated with the frame of the phone. It looks unique and unlike anything in the market today. In comparison, the OnePlus 8 Pro has a somewhat forgettable camera module design. Now both phones have curved glass on the front and back with an aluminum frame in the middle but again there is a difference in implementation the glass is more curved on the OnePlus 8 Pro which means that the middle frame is narrower making it slightly harder to grip the phone in comparison the S21 Ultra has a thicker frame which leads to much better grip one thing that i believe both the phones have done right is the matte texture on the glass backs it looks beautiful feels great in hand and does an excellent job of hiding smudges and fingerprints a small but significant plus point in the OnePlus 8 Pro is the inclusion of that mute slider flip over and we have two beautiful curved displays without a doubt two of the best in the industry but there is a difference first up when it comes to the core display quality both the Galaxy S21 Ultra and the OnePlus 8 Pro pack extremely beautiful displays in a vacuum However, put them side by side and the Galaxy S21 Ultra is the clear winner. It has more vibrant colors, richer saturation and just looks a notch above the panel on the OnePlus 8 Pro. But again, we are comparing excellent versus excellent here, so both displays will be fine for all users. I do have two points to talk about though. First up, the OnePlus 8 Pro has a widespread display problem ranging from green tint to black crush to even smearing. My unit had this too and I made a video all about it so check it out for more details. The S21 Ultra is free of all these issues. Secondly, the curve on the display of the OnePlus 8 Pro is more aggressive compared to the curve on the S21 Ultra which means that the OnePlus tends to have a lot more unwanted glare and accidental touches in comparison. Let's talk about the software experience now. This is a very very close call because both Samsung's One UI and OnePlus's Oxygen OS are two of the most well loved and usable Android skins today. With Oxygen OS, the name of the game is speed. Everything is just so smooth on Oxygen OS, and the best part is that it stays smooth for long periods of time. OnePlus phones are the best phones on the Android camp if you want a phone that performs well for many many years. Oxygen OS also comes with minimal bloatware which I really appreciate. When we talk about One UI, the word that comes to mind is loaded. Samsung's One UI is filled to the brim with features, and unlike Samsung's previous touchwise days, the features are well implemented and bug-free now. However, it's still a long, long list of features and can get overwhelming for many users. Samsung also puts an alternate Samsung app for every Google service like Samsung Internet for Google Chrome, Samsung Mail for Gmail and even Bixby for Google Assistant. One UI is also extremely smooth but the overall feel is a bit more relaxed compared to Oxygen OS which just races ahead to open everything as quickly as possible. When it comes to software updates, I think Samsung has a better track record for supporting older devices. The 2-year-old Galaxy S10 has received the Android 11 update while the 2-year-old OnePlus 7 Pro has not. Let's move on to the performance now. This is actually quite interesting because on paper, the S21 has a newer generation processor, be it the Exynos 2100 or the Snapdragon 888. and so it should have better performance well yeah it should but i just cannot see it smartphone cpus especially the flagship ones have gotten so good that beyond a certain point users just don't notice the extra power as a result when it comes to the day to day usage both the s21 ultra and the oneplus 8 pro feel extremely smooth and fast i have not seen any lags or frame drops or crashes on either of the two phones 
But let's talk gaming. Gaming is a twisted story. Even though the OnePlus 8 Pro has the last generation Snapdragon 865 CPU, it supports higher graphics settings in most games compared to the more powerful Exynos S21 Ultra. This happens primarily because of two reasons. Firstly, the Exynos 2100 is a brand new platform and developers will take some time to optimize their games according to it. Second is that since Snapdragon processors are present on a more large variety of devices, developers optimize for Snapdragon first leading to better performance. Since Exynos is not as popular, developers optimize for it later or don't even bother at all. That's why benchmarks only tell half the story. Let's talk about the cameras now. In terms of optics, both smartphones have four cameras on the rear. The Galaxy S21 Ultra sports a 108 megapixel f1.8 primary camera with laser autofocus, a 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide camera, and two 10 megapixel telephoto cameras with focal lens that offer 3x and 10x optical zoom. On the other hand, the OnePlus 8 Pro sports a 48 megapixel f1.8 primary camera with laser autofocus. A 48 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide camera and an f2.4 8 megapixel telephoto camera with a 3x optical zoom and a 5 megapixel f2.4 color filter camera. Let's find out how these high resolution cameras perform in real life. As always, we'll talk about the photos first and then move on to the videos. The primary camera performance is good on both devices. The Galaxy S21 captures pictures with high dynamic range and more accurate colors. On the other hand, the OnePlus 8 Pro shoots sharper and warmer pictures with the OnePlus contrasty look. The ultra wide camera on the Galaxy S21 shoots pictures with a wider field of view and high dynamic range. The OnePlus 8 Pro does an excellent job at reducing noise and captures pictures with more details. Now both devices have a dedicated macro mode. Considering how the devices manage to pull these off with an ultra wide camera, the pictures are actually really good. Now thanks to the two telephoto cameras and Samsung's color science, the Galaxy S21 is the obvious winner in the telephoto camera department. The OnePlus 8 Pro's 3x telephoto camera lags behind when it comes to noise processing and dynamic range. Now subject separation is good on portraits shot with both devices. The Galaxy S21 Ultra shoots portraits with significantly better skin tones and color accuracy than the OnePlus 8 Pro. It's also much better at subject separation. The S21 Ultra's 40 megapixel front camera shoots better selfies with more accurate colors and high dynamic range. The selfies shot on the 8 Pro's 16 megapixel front snapper are sharp and slightly overprocessed. Low light performance is good on both devices. The S21 Ultra has an edge with better stabilization, more accurate colors, and night mode support on all cameras. On the other hand, the 8 Pro is fast when it comes to processing long exposures and takes sharper and brighter pictures. Moving on to the videos, the S21 Ultra is the winner in the resolution and frame rate round as it can shoot videos in 8K at up to 24 frames per second from the rear cameras. The OnePlus 8 Pro tops at 4K at 60 fps. Similarly, when it comes to the front-facing cameras, the S21 Ultra can shoot videos in 4K at 60 fps, while the 8 Pro can only do Full HD at 30 fps. In terms of video quality, the S21 Ultra captures videos with a higher dynamic range and more accurate colors. On the other hand, the OnePlus 8 Pro shoots sharper videos with a contrasty look. The both devices offer a fast camera user experience with a feature-rich camera app which includes RAW and HDR shooting capabilities. To conclude, even though both smartphones pack excellent cameras by themselves, the Galaxy S21 Ultra definitely is the better shooter in this comparison. If you're looking for a smartphone camera that gives you the absolute best quality of any phone camera today, definitely pick the Galaxy S21 Ultra. It is incredibly versatile and suitable for all kinds of users. On the other hand, if you're looking for a smartphone camera which is snappy and delivers not the best but still really high quality media, the OnePlus 8 Pro will be the better and more value choice for you. But when we're talking about flagship phone cameras in 2021, it goes without saying that both phones camera system will be more than enough for most kinds of users. When it comes to battery life, the Galaxy S21 Ultra is simply better. 
I got around 6 to 6 and a half hours of screen on time on the S21 Ultra compared to around 5 hours of screen on time on the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now both phones can easily last a day, but you can stretch the S21 Ultra to 2 days by using some battery saving measures. Both phones also support fast charging, although the OnePlus 8 Pro charges faster. Both support fast wireless charging and reverse wireless charging as well. A major difference is that even though the OnePlus 8 Pro is significantly cheaper, it comes with a power adapter in the box. The S21 Ultra comes with just the cable. Now for a few random highlights from my experience before we conclude. The fingerprint sensor on the S21 is better because it works without having to wake up the screen first. The stereo speakers are great on both phones but slightly better on the S21 Ultra. The mute slider on the OnePlus 8 Pro is a simple but significant hardware feature missing on the S21. Lastly, the phone call experience is significantly better on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. It sounds clearer and is better at catching signal reception. Now, the conclusion. See, the Galaxy S21 Ultra is of course the overall better phone. It has a better display, better cameras, similar performance and better battery life. But this was obvious, wasn't it, given the massive price difference? What impressed me more was that even though the OnePlus 8 Pro is significantly cheaper, it's almost as good as the S21 Ultra in most areas. It makes you wonder whether the premium you're going to pay for the S21 Ultra is even worth it. Ponder a bit and let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope this video helped you out and if it did help us back by liking this video sharing it and subscribing to our channel this has been rohan from techie tech tech and i'll see you in the next video bye